So in certain builds, things can go wrong. And with this one, things certainly did go wrong. I wanted to put it in resin, but no. The post office decided to lose that package and it's somewhere now in Bucharest. Who knows? And then when I was painting this, as you'll see in the video, all this stuff started to chip off. So instead of a nice clean build, I had to quickly patch it up by doing the rust. So not quite how I wanted it to turn out, but still, I think it looks all right. Let's get on with the build. And as always with any scratch build, it always starts with the jump box. And I'm just randomly looking for pieces in the box because I did a search on YouTube a couple of days ago for scratch building submarines and to my surprise there wasn't anything like this using plastic it was more the proper submarines with remote control bits and pieces inside so I thought why not I'll try and build a submarine now that white top is a top from a deodorant can that I've just um, stuck on to the uh, to the bottle thought it kind of looked submarine-ish and then from there I'm just trying to get pieces to fit around the bottle or take the shape of the bottle And this is how 90% of all my builds always start with me trying to work out things because I find when I draw something I kind of get fixated on the drawing and I lose my temper because I don't have the correct pieces for the, uh, for the drawing and then I just lose all interest so I just do the free-flowing plastic jazz as I call it um, and so here I'm just uh, sticking on or trying to stick on um, the inside of a spray bottle that's gonna be the start of one of the um, bits for the top of the submarine and then I'm gonna stick some more at the back which will be some sort of like jet vents or something As you can see, there's a lot of baking powder being uh, used on this build. I think I had to go out and buy another tub after this one because uh, of the amount that I used. And now I'm just using this. Um, I'm going to use some uh, of the uh, EVA foam just to cover the, uh, the bottom part of it. And then it, it'll be a sealed sort of unit. I love this foam, it says. I think I used a full sheet of uh, this um, EVA foam for uh, the mech build that's coming up shortly. Um, it's so so easy to shape and mould for the bits that you can't get plastic to uh, to fit. So once everything was trimmed down to size just going to stick that on top of the uh, the bottle and then I'm going to move on to uh, trying to work out how to do the sides so once that was stuck into place and extra secured with more baking powder I, uh, I dismantled one of my old steampunk airships um, for 
bits and pieces because it had fallen off my um, shelf uh, so I just took it all apart and used all these random bits I don't know where these came from no idea but um, I'm going to use them as uh, side vents for the submarine So I'm going to use some metal washers for the uh, the windows of the submarine. Just going to make sure that they're going to stick on by adding a little bit of uh, baking powder. Then I sprung out some of the uh, Christmas wire um, and used that for um, some aerials, um, just sticking them on randomly around the uh, submarine. I uh, left them intentionally long so then I could just, uh, once I've painted them, I could then snip them down to size once everything else was done. Then I'm going to use some more of the um, wire to make it look like it's some sort of cabling that's running along the uh, side of the submarine just to give it some sort of texture. And this uh, uh, fan this old fan was from the uh, steampunk thing that I uh, I used I also used some uh, like Lego from the um, Euro store just to uh, add some more details onto the uh, submarine and I wasn't going to put the propeller on to start off with get it all primed first get it painted then I was going to stick the propeller on now I'd primed it the primer went on fine and this was new yellow paint that I bought from uh, a local store and it I, I thought it went on fine but um, when I'd left it and come back to it that's when I noticed that it had all just sort of it looked like corroded off and taken the primer with it and as you can see it's the best chipping I've never done. Um, it was just all flaky. So I didn't want to do the uh, the rust effect on the um, submarine. I wanted to make it look like the Beatles yellow submarine. But um, instead of just getting rid of it and starting it all again, I just thought, well, I'm here now. I might as well just try and save the project as best I could now I could have tried to sand it all down and prime it again but I just um, persevered so I just started painting certain bits and then went over it with um, the, like a rust effect Now all the places where I'm putting the turquoise is where all the places where something had chipped off the um, the build. And then I used some uh, copper just for the air vents.
because my parcel was lost um, in the post I uh, had to rethink the diorama that the submarine was going to sit on so I just quickly uh, got some XPS foam um, and then these were just a pack of random sea creatures from the Eurostore that I just uh, painted bright colours because I wanted bright colours to make it look like it was down the sea deep down in the sea so these were sort of um, technically bigger than the normal sea creatures it would make sense once they were next to the submarine I found these pot puree um, random pieces in one of my uh, junk boxes so I just took some pieces and painted them so it looked like it was going to be some sort of strange underwater um, sea um, plants and then I'm going to start tackling the uh, the rust on the submarine so I just started to uh, patch up everything and then went all in with the uh, with the rust I only did one side um, with more detail than the opposite side because you were only ever going to see this side that I'm painting right now. So I'm using some um, oil wash just to give it, uh, just to try and blend in the rust a little better than um, what I painted. And then it was almost time for. Uh, to put it onto the diorama and um, call it good. So I kind of saved the project. It's not the best thing in the world. I'll probably remake one again sometime. Um, but until then, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please leave a like, share, even subscribe. It would help the channel out a lot. And until next time, thanks for watching and keep scratching that build.